for watching. I'm Prerna Agarwal, technical product owner for The Guardian. Today we'll be giving you a Guardian update of Sprint 71 that lasted from August 5th to August 16th. So just a quick overview of the agenda. We'll be looking at the roadmap. We'll also be talking about the issues that we tackled in Sprint 71. Then we'll be flipping over and giving a short demo on Sprint 71. Then we'll be also talking ahead of week of August 19th, which is Sprint 72. We'll also be talking about the issues that we'll be tackling in Sprint 72. We'll be talking about the upcoming releases and we'll also be giving you some of the ways that you can either submit bugs or policy requests through various different channels. Talking about Guardian Roadmap, we are actually working on Guardian Analytics bottom-up data traceability. We are also working on the token action block to work with token templates. And we are working on the new uh, GCC policy, which is methodology for renewable energy generation projects, supplying and electricity. Then we are also working on the default values for schema defined fields. And we are working on the API versioning and support deprecation schedule. Talking about Sprint 71. So in Sprint 71, we committed to 41 story points and we delivered 36 story points, which includes some of the refactoring of the database access layer in 3966. We also worked on some of the coded uh, code audit issues, which is 2989, in which we worked on no method to change the password. We worked on 3988, which is displaying schema values of only selected ones. We also worked on leveraging the pre-built images as the default way to start Guardian locally, which is 3551. Let's look at Sprint 71 demo. So we will be looking at 2989, which is code audit support and resolution of issues. So we are actually working on resolving some of the security issues as we have audited our Guardian main branch code and for which the Guardian codes, uh, which includes application code and on-chain logic, as well as the semi SDK based chain operations. So the complexity and diversity of this code base presents a potential security risk, which can be reduced by a third party firm. So in this, while auditing the third party auditor, they came up with one of the bug, which was no method to change a password. So right now, as we have rectified that there's no way to change a password of a standard registry in Guardian. So we have implemented that in our one of our fix in this print. So I'll just go over this video where we, <laughs> sorry where we will be actually first setting up a standard registry initial password in .env file when we run the Guardian. And now you would be able to log in with that particular password. Once that password is done, you now you should have an able, ability to change that password in the Guardian UI or also through the API. So here we are setting guard standard registry initial password as test1234. Now I'm launching my Guardian and logging the standard registry with test one, two, three, four. So first I initially just enter test and check whether it is a valid, but now I just enter the original one, which is test one, two, three, four. And then I log in as a standard registry. I just go over the standard registry setup account by setting up the header account did and then entering my standard registry details. Once the standard registry is created, now you should be able to get that button as change password. Here you should be able to set up your password of standard registry and change it by entering the old password and the new password. My old part was the password is test1234. My new password is test. I would change my password through the UI and now I would log out from the standard registry and I, I would like to again log in. So I would first try my old password, log in. So now it says invalid password. I just try my new password and I should be able to log in. So this is a quick demo on change password facility or the change password logic. In addition to this, we have also added our documentation. So when you go to docs.header.com slash guardian dev one, so you should be able to see a step-by-step -step process of how to change the password and change password. And here we have also added a hardening, security hardening and change password. So we have also changed the encryption lo al algorithm to P PBKDF2 with the following parameters to make it more secure. And then 
as we have i've just given you a demo you should now be able to see that in step by step process here and you should be able to change the password and then we also have the api related to that which is api v1 accounts change password so that was demo on sprint 71 looking at sprint 72 we have 2839, which is token action block to work with token templates. We also have 3267, which is different token IDs for different projects by the same policy. Then we are also working on 3705 GCC, GCCM 001 methodology. We are also working on the enhancement for the Docker configuration and multi-platform uh, support, which is 4096. We also have one minor fix where we'll be just changing the standard registry setup heading. Right now it is VC document. So we'll be just making that a standard registry. That is 4001. Currently we are committing 35 story points in our sprint 72. Talking about some upcoming releases, our last release was on Friday, July 31st, 2024. Our next release will be on Thursday, October 31st, 2024. So there are multiple ways to reach out to us. You can reach out to us on GitHub. You can submit policy requests, enhancements, or if you find some bugs, please go ahead and let that bring that up to us so that we can get our team on it. Also, if you haven't joined our Discord, please visit the Discord and join our conversation at header.com slash Discord. And when you get there, search for sustainability channel or feel free to reach out to us directly by emailing us at info at .com or directly through our website, which is www.envisionblockchain.com. Thank you. Have a great day.